We'll be looking forward to using the additional resources that we've managed to access to make sure that the provision for the children remains and extends beyond what we've, we've got to make sure that they get every opportunity that comes along. The main reason that we went was, was in terms of autonomy. Um, we felt that we had the capacity to continue to drive uh, where the school needed to go. The other thing in terms of curriculum freedoms has been a huge issue for us as well and the ability to experiment and to introduce different ways of doing things which possibly we would have found more difficult not being an academy. We've introduced a greater emphasis in things like outdoor learning, employing a member of staff to do a lot of that right across the age groups. We've had the chance to uh, extend a classroom uh, add an additional classroom uh, which was a desperate need and the comments from the parents about the facilities the children now have have all been very positive. The first plan is to complete uh, our current capital project by the end of March in order to secure the funding um, for it but this is part of the advantage of uh, academy conversion um, in terms of the rounds of bids for capital development and if you can secure money in that area it gives you the financial flexibility uh, to divert resources into other areas to do the very best you can as a school um, and we will be looking for um, further capital opportunities. Where we live in North Herefordshire, of course, it's a big farming area. Uh, so the children are very much in touch with the local issue of, of produce and the school is very much a centre for that. It's all local, natural produce. We don't have any additives, we don't have fizzy drinks, we don't have extra sugar, extra salt. Uh, we're, we're very much um, a healthy school. One of the most exciting developments is the collaboration with uh, Wigmore um, High School in North Herefordshire, which is a leading uh, academy, and we have a partnership with them, and that's uh, enabled some really uh, exciting professional exchange between us, um, which has helped us focus on aspects of our teaching and learning. Uh, standards are high and improving in that area, and I think it's the most important thing that any school does. We're a national support school as well, so we've worked with schools in difficult circumstances, um, with leadership and management issues, but performance issues generally. Uh, the, the sponsorship that we've provided uh, has been to um, promote the academy conversion process and help with any guidance that's necessary, particularly with the financial issues that go along with academy conversion. Uh, that's for high schools and primary schools. So really it's, 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 a, it's a mechanism for support. I think the thing that's made us most proud about being in Academy is a sense of security for the future and that we're always expecting our children to be as proud of their school as possible but the fact that we have this added status only helps. We already were a very successful school and we wanted to continue to be successful and continue to improve and Academy status has allowed us to do that. I do believe that the Academy conversion process gave us more leverage if you like or opportunity to uh, engage in the process of bidding for funds uh, and making sure that we have a chance to improve the lives of the children and the staff on a daily basis in school. It's about who actually um, has the capacity, who really understands what needs to be done in any particular school. I would suggest it's the people in that school, not necessarily somebody in a local authority.